In episode seven of the Build Your Own CNC series, I showed you how to generate a customizable SVG that perfectly matched up. Many times, one of these, either this is lower than these, or these are lower than that. And since we're mounting a board flat and we're gonna try to sandwich it in and mount it with screws, it's much easier if we're perfectly horizontal going across here. Therefore, we really need a shim. You could make this manually with a, a drill and a piece of wood and just cut this template out. And I mentioned that at the end of the last video. But for those that have access to a 3D printer, it's worth knowing this little trick. I'm gonna push the slicer 2.90. It's free, it's open source. It's a good 3D printing software. We're gonna use it to take an SVG and sneakily create a linear extrude. Import the SVG file that you created for your CNC. You wanna to go to this import, do the first bar, even though you don't see SVG, it is a capability and I'm going to go import that. When it comes in, you're gonna see over here on the far right hand side that it automatically took that two dimensional SVG and it extruded it to a height of 10 millimeters. If this little lock is locked down, click it so that it's open. If I were to have this locked and I changed the Z height here, it would scale this whole model proportionally. We would like really to just adjust the Z height all by itself. So if I wanted to change the height of these from 10 millimeters to two millimeters, I'd come over here and type two and hit enter. All of those blocks are only two millimeters in height. What if I wanted to get rid of some of these blocks? I really only needed this central shim. How would I do that? With this selected, come up here to this button, split to objects. Once you've clicked on it, if you double click and right click, you can delete off whichever objects that you don't want. I'm gonna leave two things on here. So I've got this and this. If I click on this with the left mouse button, then I can go back here and I could shim this out to whatever height. Once again, that lock is open. That's important or this isn't gonna work. Let's say I need it at 4.53 millimeters. Hit enter. Well, that height that it extrudes is 4.53. We could then slice it. Let's say we wanted to make a drill block because we don't have a drill press. We don't have a CNC. We don't have a laser cutter to make our pattern. And we wanna have something that we can put our drill bit through by hand and keep it vertical. So let's click on this. And with that unlocked, we're gonna change this and let's make it 25.4, in other words, one inch block and hit enter. And you can see then that would give us very, very good support as you're lining up your grill to drill your holes. At that point, it's just a matter of going over here, slicing it. You can set what filament you think is most appropriate. You wouldn't need a heavy infill if you're printing something like this. You probably want a pretty good infill if it's going to be uh, sandwiched between a plywood board and one of the metal bearings or the ball nut housing in this case. Slice it, save it, print it. If you wanna save these in an STL file, go file, go export, export plate. So it'll get both of these at once. Export them as an STL, which is a classic 3D print file.